Right folks, back again with another episode of the beer garden. Um, I will say again on this video, there will be swearing. This is meant for over 18s. If you don't like swearing, off you jog. Uh, right, so this is Cameron from next door. He is the Kiwi from next door, which is quite appropriate because we are going to uh, review what are you doing out here? It's come to review the cider. Dogs come out to review the cider. Uh, we are going to review. Well, I tell you what, mate. As it's um, a New Zealand drink, what's this called? The old old moot. Old moot. And what does moot moon mean in New, New Zealand? I wouldn't have a clue. You ain't got a clue. No. Um, so the old moot cider, uh, uh, pronounced incorrectly since 1947. People say old moot, don't they? Do they? It's moot. Well, there's no N in it. I, I know. So that's like people who can't uh, pronounce Loughborough, Luga yeah. Baruga, yeah. and stuff like that. It's like brilliant. Um, when I used to play cricket, we used to have these Aussies come over and like New Zealand lot and all that, and they couldn't say Loughborough. Loughborough. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's so funny to read uh, here. I mean. So this one is a kiwi and lime. Do your zing. Established in New Zealand. Uh, Put the bins on, colour blended with kiwi and lime juice. You're holding the ingenious uh, result of pairing automatic, ar automatic, ar aromatic kiwi fruit with zing zingy lime. So, why not try berries and cherries? That's a like. Oh, the other one was pineapple and raspberry. Oh, I that. don't like pineapple. Don't you? No, I like lilt. I can drink lilt, but I, d well, I suppose that's a drink, isn't it? Yeah. I could, but I don't like, it's like when I have sweet not, and sour. You don't like eating pineapple? Man. No, I can't eat pineapple. It makes me want to, it's like I'm a celebrity. If I'd rather eat a kangaroo cock than pineapple. It's disgusting. There's just something about it I can't do. Uh, strawberry and pomegranate is the other one. It's a 500 milliliter bottle and this is only 4% volume in alcohol. Please enjoy responsibly and uh, further information visit Drink Aware. So I got this from Home Bargains. So. Shall we uh, sup in, mate? Now, I've just said on the other video that um, I normally drink out of a glass, but do you know what? I can't be asked because I have got another cider here that we are going to drink. You've seen it on the thumbnail, and I want to save that for the glass to show what it looks like. Are you going first, dude? I've, yeah, <laughs> I've had many of these. Um, they do, they sell this, they do it in a Normally you can only get, I think, three bottles, uh, five quid or something, but they'd sell, in the summertime, I like to have this. Do you? you buy a box of, I think it's ten cans. They're always handy to have in the fridge. Right. Do you, uh, do they do all the flavours then? I mean, obviously... They do got... all the flavours. So they do more than these four, these three... Uh, no, um... these, these are the flavours. These are on? Yeah, that's them. Got a fruity smell. Let's have a fruity taste. Yeah. Is it? You don't really have kiwi fruit, do you? Yeah. No. Do you know what a kiwi fruit is? Is that a little green one? Yeah. Well, it's got the brown fairy skin and yeah. green and so. Do you right? I used to work with a lad called Darren Newton from uh, Melton Mowbray Way. I like Darren. He's all right. Nothing wrong with Darren. Um, but he used to eat the skin. Oh. Is that right? People can. People do. You can eat the skin, but I. He just oh, bites into yeah. it like an apple. Yeah. And we used to look at him going, what the fuck are you doing, Daz? Well, I'm eating a kiwi fruit. What? All that green furry stuff? It must be like eating a, oh, a oh. gorilla's testicle. <laughs> 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 Possibly. But it's um, his, isn't it? It's I, like know, I know people that do just bite into them. But I, pe I personally peel the, the skin off it. Yeah, I would. I've got a shout June, because June likes kiwi fruit. June! 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 Oh, bloody answer me then! <laughs> Standing here shouting like a fucking time crier. You like kiwi fruit, don't you? Yeah, I do. And lime. Oh, get your lips around that. Oh, I don't like that, it's cider. Actually, Santa's I don't like cider, that's quite, quite nice. Is it, like, is it cider? Is it? Yeah, How many apples are in it? Oh yeah, water, apple juice, from concentrate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, June likes it. Mm -hmm. So, is that a hit, June? Yeah. This is quite nice. It'd be a nice summer drink. Well, 
<laughs> Would be if we had a summer. Oh. If you're allowed out. We are. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a a contained home summer. Do you zing? Do you zing? We've done our zing, haven't we today, lover? You might have. I'll shut the door, stop the wind blowing through. So. Oh, there you go. This is alright, this is mate. It is, it's a it's a quite a ref it's a refreshing cider. It's not I don't like the overly sweet No ones. It's got the dry sort of It has got a dry it's got that dry which you don't want that I yeah. know it sounds weird saying dry for a liquid, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do because I, I took a sip and I thought, oh, that's quite nice. Then I shouted her, and uh, uh, and then I just took a sip and had a real serious think about it. And it has got a dry <sighs> taste texture to it. Hasn't it's not over sweet. Yeah, the, I think you've got the the, the lemon. Yes. Oh, not lemon lime. The lime. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's got like a when you've got a gin. <laughs> And you've got that little bit of dryness, and it's. I, I'm not comparing this, but oh, God, it's hard to describe really. When you're not a professional and you just do this for a laugh, but it, it has got a dry. You, you left with a sort of a dry taste in your mouth instead of yeah, sugary sweet. Yeah, taste. I like this. This is all right. No wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. I know. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're really nice. You know, good in a. They are good in a big pint glass. Yeah. Plenty of, plenty of ice. ice. Yes. And you can Good sit stuff. back and enjoy the sun. Yeah. Oh, oh, just saying. Have you heard about that Dominic Cummins, that scientist or whatever for the government? But I've I've not read anything, but he's has he he's been to um, apparently he got the virus. He got the virus. He got the oh, so, oh fuck knows. Because I'm getting fed up with a lot of them. Well, anyway, he drove 250 miles to his mum and dad's house to drop the kids off because I think he'd got the coronavirus or whatever. Sorry. Anyway, he's, he's come back home and like all the reporters are outside his house. I think he was going for a bike ride. And he's like, get back two metres, two metres. I thought, you pompous prick. You've told the whole country. So, yeah. Okay, so he's... He's got the virus. Well, he said he had virus. it, or he had it, and he went to the, his mum and dad's so house. So he drove 250 miles with his children in the car yeah. while having the symptoms of the virus. I think that's to allegedly. To drop them off at his parents' house. Yeah, well, well, I'll tell you what, we'll chuck allegedly in so that I don't, you know, <laughs> get chased after. But, uh, yeah, apparently, allegedly, he's drove all the way over there, and I've read one report, somebody's seen him in the back garden playing ABBA. <laughs> I have seen something pop up on Twitter, someone put <laughs> Dominic Cummings went to the fridge 32,000 something times or something, I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah. that makes more sense. So yeah. He's... So, and then he's like, he's just had all the reports outside his house, he's going, get back, two metres, two metres, and like, you're thinking, oh, you fucking prick. You know, you've come out here, the, you've told they're, us... They're calling for him to... Yeah, and I think he should. For his head, aren't they? Is yeah. Isn't he, like... Boris's media... He's uh, Boris's scientist or main advisor for this, isn't it? But it goes down to the old story again, isn't it? We have to do it, but do as, do as we say, don't do as we do. There's been a couple, though, isn't there, that have driven... Wasn't there some Scottish minister that drove to a holiday home or something? Yeah. But it ain't, and the thing is, you can't just blame one party. They're all at it. <laughs> and this is, this is the only ones that we... And here you know, we are, all sitting at home, well, patiently. You know, you know. Well, most of us are, you know, living by the rules. I mean, you know, I'm, uh, I'm getting fed up with them now. But apart, from, yeah. apart from the people down the coast, the Brighton yeah. South End, that hit the beach on uh, yeah. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, they <laughs> hammered it, didn't they? But uh, they're all on furlough, aren't they? They're all on lockdown. None of them are at work, so they go out on the beach. If you can go to the beach, you can go to fucking you know work. What, though? I'd like to be on furlough yeah. and go pick up 400 quid a week to pick yeah. fruit. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd do that. Instead of them shipping them all in all the Romanian. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? But I, um, we've been watching Darling Buds of May rerun. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just bloody Del Boy, isn't it? In 1956, <laughs> and um, we've been watching them, and they were fruit picking and stuff. And uh, it, you know, yeah. it's it's good to see. Uh, you know, 
I reckon if I was a student or that kind of person now, I think I'd probably go and do a bit. Oh, I probably fucking wouldn't, to be fair. I don't know. So, thing is, students these days like 25 grand first job. I don't think you've got to be a student to want 25 grand at your first job. Oh, is it just anyone? <laughs> yeah, it's just anybody. I think they all seem to think that you can get a job for 25 grand, Monday to Friday, finishing early on a Friday, not working at Christmas, two weeks off in the summer, and every bank holiday. Them jobs ain't out there now unless <laughs> you've got a brain <laughs> or experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't just do it. Right, what we've got time wise here? 10 minutes. So we've got another beer to drink. How far are you through that one, dude? Well, have you finished it? I've just it? knocked it off, mate. Yeah, I've just. Uh... <laughs> I've seen a few comments, though, that <laughs> that's surprised. <laughs> how quickly i can finish a drink i know and the thing is i'm thinking i'm standing there like because i can't swim over the fence i'm thinking as he finished as he finished i don't know i don't want to finish it in case <laughs> he's not finished making me look like a piss head <laughs> 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 oh i found buzzy b in salby yeah you it's all right have you never been there before no i didn't even know it was there oh. it's like an aladdin's cave yeah I'd... you know what <laughs> when we were struggling for pasta toilet roll yeah i bet you they had plenty <laughs> I bet. They were amazing. I mean, I've never heard of it. I knew, I knew that there was a shop down there, um, but I never, I've never been to it. Obviously, also, I'd have known it were fucking there. Yeah, no. And the, uh, I've got wind. Um, the wife, she, she's always <laughs> talks about it. Is they've done it up too. It's yeah. More sort of modern, but they've, they've got a. What, if you need something, I think it's there. It is like a modern day art rights, isn't it? You know, and it has the full. Is that where you got the... Yeah. That's where I got this from, folks. They had the full range there, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, they did. The trouble, I've got the Palmer Violet ones, but I can't remember if I've reviewed that one or not. I've reviewed that much stuff now. I really should be writing it down. Um, so anyway, so I found Buzzy Bees, and I popped over, because um, Kiwi from next door said that Brothers, right, I knew Brothers had got this new cider out called Marshmallow. Well, is this a new... Is this one a new flavour? This is one of the new flavours. Oh, yeah. They've also out is a rhubarb and custard, but I can't remember if I've already reviewed that and all. But I know I've not done this one. Uh, so I've popped over uh, to Busy Bees in Salby and Brothers Marshmallow English Cider. Now I love Brothers. Do you like Brothers? It is nice. You uh, your video got me uh, hooked on it. The I toffee one. The toffee one. Yeah. And then I think I think I've tried the rhubarb. And custard one. Ah, good stuff. Mm. Good stuff. Right, so I'm going to pop this bad boy. Yeah. I'm going to pop this in my glass so you can see it, folks. Because, uh... oh look, it's fucking pink. <laughs> it's nice and pink. They're all pink, be, right? I'm not ever. It's either going to pink or white, though, isn't it? So, <laughs> I'm never ever again <laughs> opening the cider. <laughs> oh look at that! I've got a piece of shit in the glass. <sighs> Um, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> so I absolutely love uh, Brothers Cider. Oh, if you've never like had a packet of marshmallows, oh, it does, doesn't it? June, come and try this one. Just pissing off. What it is? She's got a new book on a Kindle. So every time I keep shouting, it's when she's reading. <laughs> Oh no, she ain't. She's measuring. What are you measuring? Oh, whatever you mind. Mm. Busy. Try that. Busy. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it's right. spitting. Oh, it's trying to anyway. What do you oh, think, nice. Cameron? Oh, I haven't tried it yet. That's like cream soda or something. It's marshmallow sweetness. I know, but it tastes like cream you soda. Like that. Can you remember Jones is the pop man and the cream soda? Oh yeah, Jones is the pop man. Yeah. Where are you butchering Dad's army? <sighs> I don't know, I didn't watch Dad's Army. No, you don't like Dad's Army, do you? Yeah, it does, yeah. Hey. Okay. So have you tried it, dude? I have tried it. And? It, like, it, it smells like the marshmallow. You know when you open a bag of marshmallows, it's got that smell, but it does taste like a cream soda. It does taste like cream soda. I want to know how they managed to make it taste like that. Can I have a cough, please? I've got a sticky hand. Oh, you know what? Getting on her tits. Yeah, this is all right. I like this. It's nice. It's. it's a, it, it might be a little bit too sweet for some people. I think it's. Uh, 
I don't think you could drink many of them because I think it's got a bit of a, a sickly. Yeah, it's got a strain. So. Sorry, mate. Uh, she's just throwing the dishcloth at me. <laughs> Straight on the tit. Get in there. Couldn't miss that fucker. Um, it's gluten free though, and is it? It's suitable gluten. for vegans. So you know. Right, yeah, made by four brothers in the Somerset, in Somerset. Crates of cider that are unique as they're so it's just full of flavour and expected combinations. I want to know how they got the marshmallows. Yeah, I do. Hello? Brothers are absolutely brilliant. I really, really love Brothers. <laughs> the, they're really, really ingenious. They are the Willy Wonkers of cider. Sweet. Vanilla, yeah, you can, I think you can taste the vanilla. You can taste the vanilla. It's the vanilla that's... The marshmallow, isn't yeah. it? Which most probably gives it that creamy soda. Yeah. I, it's, am I showing my age saying that I know what cream soda is? Yeah, well, it, cream soda is basically... It, it's cream I bet soda the young ones won't know what that is now, don't nah, I think cream soda is iron brew, isn't it? Uh, I've got a sneeze. I don't think... But back in the day, you used that can of cream soda, wasn't it? Yeah. Shit. I, I do feel old. That is nice. Oh, I really like that now. But it I is, like it'd, it'd only be, I think, you'd only want to drink one. Yeah, Otherwise one. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit sick. After. Yeah, one or two. I yeah. don't think you could do more than two. Not because it's an horrible drink, because I think it's a little bit. Too it's sweet. very sweet. You might, you may be a little bit hyper afterwards. Yes. Yes, I think you could. You could be well hyper. <laughs> Go from this onto a toffee, onto the rhubarb and custard. <laughs> You'll be spinning like a top. Oh. Hey, man, say, did you see that uh, that clip on the uh, internet? I can't. It's horrible talking like this, isn't it? Because you can't see each other. Yeah, I know. Um, but you got to keep the public happy. We do. We you know, got to keep the bloody jobs you know, right. I stand happy. a metre away from the fence. You know. Yeah. You like to. Bounce around a bit, don't you? Well, yeah, I do bounce around and for I'm a fat a... fuck. <laughs> you know, I'm on my stool because I'm a little short now. <laughs> you scrub <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the neighbours can hear us. You know what I mean? Hello to the neighbours over there. Um, oh, uh, yeah, that clip of that monkey. No. Haven't you seen it? No. Right? There's a little monkey, you know, like the sort they have that sell peanuts or on the shoulders and the fucking down yeah. the neck. Right, there's this monkey, and I don't know what country is him. Anyway, this <laughs> this monkey is, this is on a motorbike. Little, yeah. You know, like the little motorbikes that are yay yeah. big, right? He's on this fucking motorbike. He comes flying down this road, sk skids this motorbike, crashes it, and there's a kid on a step. He gets this kid, right, and he's dragging the kid away. Honest, and he's dragging this kid. Whereabouts is this? <laughs> don't know. Where do they have monkeys? Oh. Could be anywhere. <laughs> but honest, you type it, you go on the internet and type oh. in monkey on a bike, <laughs> and it comes up and he comes in, he's got his so like, He's just pinching some kid. Yeah. But anyway, I guess I, I thought. Hey. Oh no, I won't say what I've just thought. No, you're thinking the mechanics. <laughs> because I said it on a video, and this bloke has had a right go at me on the comments <laughs> saying, I'm um, whatever. Right, he's, he's saying the McCanns have had a hard time. Not as bloody hard as Maddie has had, right? Because where is she, right? Irresponsible parenting, allegedly. Um, so anyway, this motor look, he comes in on this motorbike, skids this motorbike like Evil Knievel when he fell off and he jumped off that thing, uh, uh, that ramp, or landed, or rather didn't land because he obviously fucking fell off it, and skids into these kids and grabs this kid. This kid must have been about two, two and a half, three, something oh, like that. Right. Maybe, maybe. And he tried, and he's dragging it off, but I thought... So what, did he get, him, get the kid, or...? No, because what happened was, I thought, right, that this was some kind of paedophile uh, ring where you send the monkey in yeah. to get the kid and drag the kid away. And this monkey, I mean, this monkey was only so big, but the strength of him, and he's oh. dragging this kid along, and it's it, fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, but what I didn't realise is somebody sent me a message when I put it out on Twitter, after I did actually say that, is this how Maddie went missing? <laughs> <laughs> that the monkey was actually on a lead. Okay. So the monkey was being dragged away, and I think the monkey was dragging the kid, and the lead was dragging the kid, oh, and the okay. monkey. So 
But it's amazing. I, do you know what? I, I, I have, when I went traveling around Thailand. Yeah. Um, we saw, me and my mates, um, we saw a monkey with, with, on the beach and he's like this hut sort of just below the sort of forest yeah. line, bush line. And these people, they're staying in the hut, they turn back up home, put their bags on the sort of deck of this hut. Yeah. The monkeys come down. Yeah. Pinch the bag. Pinch the bags, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so pinch they, a bag. They, they can, and I know in other countries, monkey wears, uh, so I think, is it, is it barley? I think, yeah, barley. Yeah. If the like, tourists are there and they're like, oh, nice monkey, then the monkey starts pickpocketing their, yeah. like, yeah, their bags. We, and, yeah. But they've been trained to pickpocket. Yeah. People trained. think that they're nice and cute. And they're not. They're, they're fucking killers. they their passport and yeah. money out of them. <laughs> yeah, but monkeys are fucking killers, aren't they? Yeah. They're animals. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful to monkeys, though, but they're fucking animals. They'll rip your face off. Yeah, but people yeah. let them climb over them, yeah. thinking they're all cute and, and like, Yeah, the women, like, they let them on, and the next thing you know, the monkey's pulling on the nipples, and, like, they think it's hilarious. No, because while they're doing that, his mate is picking your wallet out your husband's pocket. Yeah. Because it's a distraction burglary. Well, no, the monkeys are trained to do it as well. Yeah, they're, they're you know, all they're working as gold chains and they're, like, they're like fucking Olivers with tails, aren't they? You know... Uh, you know, can I have some yeah. more bananas? Or they want oh. gruel and he wants bananas. That's yeah. fucking unreal. It is. It's. It is a. It's a funny thing watching it. What time we got? We were. Oh. Um, <laughs> we were just sitting there laughing. You can't. We watched this monkey scurry off into the bloody bush. Yeah. With the, I wonder with if the monkey. <laughs> I wonder if the monkey's been trained to pick. The expensive bag. I wonder if it recognises Gucci <laughs> to head tennis whack bags. You know what I mean? I think, I think they're just trying to spot the person who looks foreign. I yeah. Think. <laughs> the person who looks stupid. Yeah. So, good um, stuff. Um, yeah, but well, back on the old Madeline McCann. This bloke says, like, he had a right go at me. I don't know if you've seen the comments. Yeah, I've not. Um, he had a go at me for, like, saying... I was disgusting and all that, and but when all said and done, they left the bloody kid no, alone. They did, um, yeah, they would. They left the kid alone. No respectable parent would leave a Go child. Go for dinner and leave your children tucked exactly. up in a room. In a, by even themselves. in a foreign country. Yeah. Well, not even. In, no, not even here. At your own home. I worry now about leaving Ginger, and she's seventeen. <laughs> not basically because I'm worried for her, because she probably set the fucking house on fire. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? You just do not, you know, there is no book, really, on parenting, but nowhere would it say or advise you to go out on the piss to have a meal while on holiday in a different country where you can't see your kids. Yeah. That is the law. If it was somebody else, they would have been dragged over the coals, but because they're fucking doctors, and that's shit. I saw her the other day, you know, in Loughborough. Well... Obviously, I used to live in Rothley, so I yeah. see her quite a Yeah, we bit. used to live in Rothley. Did you? Well, we we were on the border of Rothley oh, yeah. and Mount Sorrel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But I saw so Kate. What, did, you say, did you say you lived in Rothley for the bit of sale price? Yeah. Yeah. It's that, but you know what, thank, thank fuck for that bloody sign that says Mount Sorrel and Rothley. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I saw her in Loughborough walking through. And believe it or not, she didn't tell the kids we were then. <laughs> so... Oh, brilliant. And did you see um, Prince Charles on the news the other day as well? Uh, Digging for Britain? No. No, he was saying, he was uh, he was giving this lecture to the public. He was got, he's made some fucking stupid video. Is this about fruit picking? Yeah. Well, I don't. I haven't seen the video. No. Yet. Well, he, well, I uh, I didn't see the video. I heard it. It was on Radio Five when I was coming home from work, and he said something, something. Then he went, "I understand it." He said something along the lines of, "I understand it could be hard graft." Fuck off. What do you mean hard graft? What do you know about hard graft, Charlie? Fuck's sake. He's got two kids, and one of them ain't even his because it looks like Major Hewitt. What does he know about hard graft? Hey, they've had nannies and everything. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I do like the royal family, and I, but I do think it should be trimmed down. 
but hard graft trying to be all you know relate to no, the he's public. Trying to, he's trying to relate to the public. Trying to relate to the public. You know, he's, he's getting ready for when he's king for about three days because. <laughs> He's how old is Charlie? He's in his seventies. He's, he's in his seventies. He's got his bus pass, and he's going to be the oldest king ever. You it'll know, be a, it'll be a short rain. It will be a short rain. It'll be a fucking shower. <laughs> it'll be that short. But uh, you know, it's just like hard grass. <laughs> what are you fucking? You never know. He may have picked the fruit. He may have picked the fruit. Publicity. I don't know. He picked a plum with Camilla, didn't he? <laughs> oh dear. He picked a lemon with Diana, she did him over, didn't oh, she? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so we like this marshmallow it side is, of them. It is nice. But we couldn't have to, I don't think... I, I, I don't know if I could do a second. No. As, as nice as it, it is. It's really nice. But the sweetness yeah. is... I, I, it's really, yeah, yeah, go on. The, I keep getting sweet. told off for butting in. Oh. <laughs> it's just the sweetness. Yeah, it, it, it is over sweet. But I tell you what, brothers have done really well because they've really created a Willy Wonka cider. They've got a good range of they, interesting flavours. They're which really are, clever. Which are mostly high in sugar. <laughs> I, I tell you what, brothers, right. If you ever get to see this video, please, please invite me down to your factory. Invite me and Cameron to come down and so we can have a look and see how you make these flavours. Because they're fucking brilliant, isn't they? They are. It's credit to them, too. It is a credit to them. They're, an, they're an unknown force in the cider world. You know, I mean, I mean, do you like ciders? I do like I do like a cider in the summer. A traditional cider. Oh. Or, yeah, I do, do. Yeah, yeah, I will drink the. I, I'm not a, I'm not a Strongbow fan, but no. I will drink like the, what's it, um, Thatchers and more White Lightning, <laughs> out of a brown bag. Yeah, <laughs> um, and sort of you're more sort of the drier ciders that are out there than the overly mm. sweet ones. Yeah, so it's just video's nearly 27 minutes long, so I'm gonna have to wind it up. So I'm only on for 30 minutes. Um, yeah, but uh, I like a traditional cider. And excuse me, when I saw this, I thought I ain't gonna like this. I'm gonna slate it, it's, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's the they are nice. It's just the sweetness you can't drink. It's a yeah. nice one-off drink. Um, I'll tell you what they are. Sorry for butting in. It's your, it's your channel. You're allowed. No, you say because she tells me off for butting oh. in, and I know I do do it, but it's winding up. Um, the festival drinks. They are, yeah. Yeah, you know, you want to, yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty much like, sums it up, really. You, yeah. You know, you they bounce. You want something. You want high sugar so you can yeah. carry on bouncing. Yeah. If you're watching Liam Gallagher, yeah. or whoever, and you want something to keep you going, you want to be buzzing on all levels. Don't you? That is, they are the ones to yeah. have, and uh, they've done really, really well. Well done, brothers. Uh, I like the old uh, the old moot as well. Um, that was shit up. I'm really impressed. But um, yeah. That's about it then, mate. We'll knock this on the air before we time runs out. Yeah. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the beer garden. We will be doing more. I tell you what, we'll do these in the summer, uh, in the winter as well. I'll get some kind of heating. <laughs> <laughs> flames. Yeah. We'll have to get the boilers blowing out flames. Yeah. I'll, I'll be standing there with a fag on or something, though. But uh, well, it'll be fun. Um, all right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed right, that. See, see you all. later. Bye.